I um, threw out my back, I thought. I was up in the eaves of the garage, just reaching for something that I was gonna throw out, not heavy. And I, I got, so, but I, ah, there's Suzanne, good. Suzanne's here too, and it's chalk. So um, what I think it is is sciatica. So um, I've been doing a lot of uh, stretches uh, that we normally do for opening up the hip and things like that. That's what I thought I'd concentrate on today if you ever have that sort of thing. Oh, I have it back again badly now. <laughs> All right, good. I've been using the ball on this on the uh, uh, piriformis, but yes. it's it's helped not as much as I would have hoped. <laughs> and, and also stretching the hamstrings will help. So oh. I, I'll, I'll go through that later. But um, let's start with rolling the ball. The bottom line was that I was able to um, stop, stop. run yesterday and, uh, you know, it hurts, but uh, stop it. I think you'll find that I'm pretty functional. <laughs> so we're rolling the ball up and down the fingers. I'm going to mute so that we don't keep... Um, Switching screens here and rolling up and down and across the knuckles and in the pads of the pinky and the thumb and then let's take the ball in one hand and squeeze. And let go, and then the other hand, and squeeze. And let go. Back to the first. <clears throat> and let go, and back to the other hand. And let go, and let's go around the back. And switch. 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 And through the legs. Switch, switch, and switch. We're leaving the ball on the ground. Let's come up, assess where our feet are today. Step on the ball right in the middle. Three times we're gonna press down. And then move up to the knuckles and press down three times. Roll it across the knuckles. Find this helps um, somewhat too. And then bring it to the top of the heel, pivot on the toes and slide. And then bring it to just below the first knuckle and press down. Slide it to the side of the top of the heel and press down. And then over to the middle of the fifth middle close and press down. I'm gonna roll it down each of the bones. And screw. Good. 
three, two, one. Reassess. Go to the other foot, press down a few times. Knuckles. Slide it across. Bring it down to the top of the heel and slide. First time I was three points. Roll it down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, let go, reassess. Hmm, yeah, feels much better. I'm going to get the ball out of the way and shake the tree. Three, two, one, center. Nice deep three dimensional breath. Twist at the waist, swinging the arm. And center. Do some ocean wave breathing. Center, fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, step out and gather and star. Lodantian, heart chakra, throat, third eye, and crown, three times. And coming down. <clears throat> Center, other side. And center with two deep breaths. We're marching place or a job. So yeah, today I'm gonna do uh, uh, 
rocking your hamstrings, do some uh, hip openers, stretching, all of which we've done before. Um, <clears throat> it's great for sciatica, but it's also good just for opening up the hips and those hamstrings that get so tight because we sit so much. And as we age, they get tight anyway. So um, there's no squats and balls, so you can do those or whatever you want to get the heart rate going a little bit, including just doing what you're doing. Be safe. As always, I'm gonna sprint, I think, and five. Four, three, two. Twenty two, twenty three. And three, two breaths. Interlace those fingers and the hands up overhead and stretch upwards. And back. Come back to center and bend to one side. And center and go to the other. Come back to center, lower the hands, push out of the chest. And coming down, interlacing the fingers in the back behind you and lifting up. A little higher. And coming down. A shrug. And roll back. And roll forward. In the arms and rotate. And in the other direction. One palm is down, one is up, flip flop. Burning one arm across the body, just below the neck, pressing in at the elbow. Then the other. First arm behind the head, pressing down. And then the other. Grab each elbow and rock side to side. Go 
them down and rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. Keep it tucked and turn to one side. Drop your chin to the collarbone. And then look up. And come back to center. Make sure your chin is still tucked as you turn to the other side. Drop the chin. And look up. Let's do a side school, a side lunge. Other direction. And we'll grab a stick. Here. We'll start by moving it behind the back. We're going to do the gym stick routine, which has some hamstring and calf stretches. And we're going to be certainly doing more of those later on. So I didn't do what we normally do. And then lift it up behind you and extend your arms and oscillate back and forth. Bring it down to the waist. Step one foot forward and twist. And then bring the other foot forward and twist. Bring the stick behind you right above the knees. Your hands come out in front between your legs. Hold onto the stick. Hinge at the waist and pull up. And then bring the stick around in front, both hands near the top or at the top. Step back, hinge at the waist, stretch your upper back and shoulders. Bring the stick across the body with one hand Extend, other hand comes underneath the armpit and grabs the shoulder, hinge at the waist, and gently tug. Mm. 
And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Hinging and tugging on that shoulder. Bring the foot to the, uh, the uh, pole to the side of the foot. Top hand will push out as the bottom hand pulls in. You can hinge if you want. And then go to the other side, same thing. And come back up. Stick is in front. Bring your one leg in front of the stick at an angle. Line everything up and lean into your leg, stretching the hamstring for the first time. Come back up, same thing on the other leg. Hinging at the waist, keep your head back, spine neutral. And come back up, and we'll just lean the sole of the foot against the stick, stretching the calf. And then the other foot. And then bring the stick out front and let's go up on our toes and back on our heels 15 times, pausing about a second on each. That's five for me. Well, 13, 14, um, 15. Okay, um, you could, if you need to, use the uh, stick as you do some of these, um, or you can uh, just stand rather than walk. But I'm gonna walk and, um, to a knee to chest to start. Three, four, you can turn around if you don't want to go backwards. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And same thing, except I'm gonna pull the heel up to the seat. One, two, and again, just stand still. You don't wanna walk. And if you're holding a pole, you gotta do um, one leg at a time, obviously. Six, seven, Nine, nine, ten, and ten. And this time we're going to bring it in front.
9 and 10. And now we're just going to tuck the pelvis and bring it back. Pelvic rolls. 5, 6, 7, and 10. All right, let's get down on the floor. You might want to bring a strap or a piece of cloth or a towel to stretch the hamstring down there. Don't need to, you can use just your hand. But if you have something like a uh, cloth or a strap, that could help. But let's start by crossing one leg over the top of the thigh of the other, grabbing the back of the thigh and pulling the leg towards us. Figure four, piriformis stretch. And holding. And then come down and then push the knee of the leg that is crossed away from you. You can do it just below the knee on the thigh. And then do the same thing on the other side. On the other leg. Bring it up. Put it down and press that knee away. Now I'm going to bring one knee up to the chest, extending the other leg. Head is on the floor. Your back, lower back is pressed into the floor. Put that down, bring up the other. Putting that down. Now I'm going to bring this knee up towards the chest and across the body. Mm. I can feel that. And back, and then the same thing with the other one. And back, and now we'll lift one leg in the air. And if you want, you could use your cloth or strap to Bring it back either by putting it on the back of the thigh or holding it with both hands um, across the sole of the foot. Put this leg down. He's going to stretch a little bit more.
and coming down. And I'm going to bring the other foot up. Again, you could just pull on the back of the thigh or the calf or the sole of the foot. Breathe into it. Three, two, one. And I think that should do it for now. Let's come up. Yeah, it feels much better for, for me. I can't wait to hear how it feels for you. Rub your hands together. Cultivating chi and forming a chi ball. I saw a video yesterday on a woman who has a whole routine for before you rub your hands together for cultivating chi. But for now, we'll stick with what we've got. And we'll let that chi ball move us around. Shifting weight <clears throat> from one foot to the other. From one channel to the other, like water flow. And centering. Two deep breaths. And we'll open our hearts. Pause and send it out. Centering two breaths. And bring down heavenly chi. Going down, gathering up. And aha, <laughs> namaste. During the middle of it, it really hurt, but now I feel much better. <laughs> oh, that's good. Which which hurt? Uh, the my piriformis or the sciatica. Yeah, but what what particular exercises? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> But it, it worked, yeah. I mean, I know I I keep on stretching and um, it, it relieves it. And then an hour or two later, I gotta go back and do it, do it again. Right now I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah.
Good, good. So I thought we, uh, and it's a rolling day. So we'll uh, obviously roll um, the glutes and the gluteus medius and the hamstrings. Keeping <clears throat> on theme here to start. So start with the ball, wherever I put that. There it is. Out of the way. And let's start on that gluteus medius, which is that hip muscle that really, I believe, the uh, sciatic nerve must go under. Oh, I haven't looked it up again lately, but it is sore for me, um, always, and particularly today. And what you want to do is find a particularly tender spot and lean into it as best you can. If it's too much pressure, use your elbow or your other leg to come up a little bit and breathe into it. And then if you can cross your leg on the other side, you can do some knee flexes. Oh. And I come up. <clears throat> and let's go to the other side. Again, rolling around a little bit, trying to find the most tender spot. Yeah. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> That's There it is. Leaning in, I'm relieving the pressure a little bit by coming up on my elbow. And then back down. Breathing into that spot. Putting my leg across and bending at the knee. And coming back. And coming off. Let's get the roller. I'm not, if you've got uh, a choice between a hard and soft, I'm going to use the hard on this one. But soft is uh, fine. I only have hard. Oh, that's good. Yeah, right. I'm going to start by doing both legs at the same time, just rolling about an inch per second up and down. three or four times right above the knee to right below the glutes. And 
and then I'm going to cross one leg over the other and lean into it a little bit, give it a little bit more pressure. And if you find a tender spot here, stop. I found one. And stay there. You might want to rock your leg back and forth at that spot. Laterally, left and right. And then go up and down a couple more times on that leg, inch per second. And put that leg on top of the other one. And same thing, try to find that tender spot. I'm so short and my arms are so short. I can't roll all the way down uh, near me without losing my balance. <laughs> uh, um, Okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what are. I hope you don't mind my talking since we're the only ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Um, I'm just trying to think of how. It's you okay. Okay. Solve that. Going down on the elbow. I could probably work. put a pillow behind the roller. Yeah. But I, I'm not doing that right now. While we're here, why don't we do the IT bands? You want to roll over on your side and lean on your forearm. Oh, okay. And get that muscle running up the side of your leg. Okay. Which is generally pretty tight. Oops. We're just going an inch per second again, up and down. I'm going to hold right here for a little while. Find it's a little tender, usually more just above the knee. A switch. Going up and down, and you want to hold this spot again. It's about the same spot for me, about two inches above the knee. And coming off. Woo. I feel 
<laughs> Lucy, I've been ready to do, start a class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> yeah, good. That was a good. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. See thank you. you uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye-bye.